I added a jack shaft and uh, a six inch pulley here to try and improve the RPM on this thing to see if I can get up the, I got the voltage up a couple more volts so it is spinning a little bit faster. What I was afraid of was that the, uh, I didn't have enough water to actually turn this whole thing. So what I did was I made that jack shaft right there out of a, uh, a strut that came out of a car that my son Todd had brought here that we replaced all the struts on. And I took the uh, shaft and turned it turned it down to a three-quarter inch to fit the bearings and the uh, pulley there, that six-inch pulley. So you can see that it has slowed it down quite a bit on the wheel. But uh, it seems to be working okay. I'm going to do some more... Uh, uh, measuring on the uh, with the ohmmeter to see how many volts uh, it's up to 22 volts now uh, coming from the alternator up to the uh, the rectifier it changes it uh, to DC so it's doing all right you can see I've enclosed the sides here and uh, I've got this uh, this vinyl tarp that I'm going to pull right over the top of it here to enclose it for the winter. So, just thought I'd give you guys an update on uh, what I've done here. I had a little bit more water coming through this thing. It's spinning it a little faster. But I think I'm probably getting as much uh, out of that alternator as I probably can with this. The only other alternative would be to move the water wheel down there and then run a trough down to it. It's probably about a foot and a half or two foot difference in drop so I could pick up some speed and some momentum. Uh, maybe to turn that wheel a little faster, but this is it. If I change anything else on here, I'll try and update everybody. Bye-bye.